Hi guys! Wow. I have not made a video in forever. Oh, I've just been so busy. Like, um, I went on vacation to Steamboat Springs in Colorado and that was really fun. I went with my friend Lauren. Her counselor is fab. I think you knew that, but, you know. And, wow, like, and then today I just got back from, um, a trip with my dad. We went to this family camp um, for a couple of days and it was in Missouri and let me just say that if you live in Missouri I feel so sorry for you. Like I'm not even kidding because it is so humid there. I really realized how lucky I am that I live in Colorado because it's just dry here and hot. No it's not humid. I mean, the whole time everything was just damp. It was sick. Like, I got into bed at night and like the sheets were wet and then I brought some books and the books were all like you know, shriveled and oh, it was horrible. And then there are these bugs, okay, and they were like this big. Not that big because I would probably like be dead of a heart attack right now. But they are huge. And like once I was getting ready for a shower and then there like was this huge bug in the bathroom and it was like jumping everywhere and I really needed to take a shower. <laughs> and and then like so I got my flip flops and I was like chucking my flip flops at it and then it would not freaking die. So I grabbed this notebook. I have the notebook actually right here. And then it was this one. And I threw the notebook on the bug and then I jumped on top of the notebook and now I have a really gross bug splatter. I cleaned it off as good as I can. Oh, and it was so gross and I flushed it on the toilet and it was just, it was, it was sick, man. Like, I am so sorry. Miserable Missouri. That's what I'm going to call it from now on. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've just been really busy with everything, man. Like, school's getting ready to start, and I'm not excited for that. And, um, I'm gonna have a really busy next few days. Um, today is August 1st. That means that tomorrow, Breaking Dawn is coming out. I know. The wait is, like, almost over. I can't believe it. Oh, 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 I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> yeah, I am just ecstatic. And, um, and that means that my birthday is also tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to be 17. <laughs> I'm so excited. And, and today at some time, I don't know, it's like 5 o'clock now. Um, one of my best friends in the entire world, Stephanie, is coming back from Romania. And she's been gone for an entire month. And I have been really missing her so much because you know she's my best friend and oh I, I'm just so happy and like I want to cry because I'm just so excited and happy right now um <laughs> so yeah um I got my birthday present already like my main one from my parents um me and my dad got it when we were driving back <clears throat> from um Missouri miserable Missouri um and so I'll show you I got cowgirl boots. Oh yeah. Check it out. Aren't they pretty hot? Yeah. <laughs> I love them. And they smell really good. Sorry, Laura. But they smell really good and I love them. And, um, yeah. I, I'm just really excited. I can't wait. Because, um, I've wanted cowgirl boots for a really long time. Because, you know, when you wear cowgirl boots, you can never feel afraid. Do you know why that is? Okay, I'll tell you. Well, have you ever walked in cowgirl boots or cowboy boots? Yeah, they make you feel very brave. Because the whole, like, clip sound, you know, I can't make it. It's like, let me, hear. That really doesn't sound right either. <laughs> I was banging on my desk. Um, anyway. <laughs> It just makes you feel brave, okay? You cannot feel scared when you're wearing boots. Heck no. Uh-uh. And then I also got other boots, you know. Bedtime boots! They're slippers, and they're so fuzzy, and I'm wearing them at winter time, because right now it's like 100 degrees. <laughs> but I'm really excited, because I needed new slippers, because I lost my other ones, but... Yeah. Okay, so... 
currently I'm reading Twilight because, you know, I need a review. I always do that. See, um, this far through, this far through, and um, here I have my little pile right here. That is what has been holding up my camera. I don't you know if you guys saw that because I didn't see, but anyway. Um, yeah, I because um, whenever um, a new book comes out in the Twilight Saga, I just read all of them again. And I've just been so busy that I'm kind of late. Like last year it worked perfectly. Um, I got my book because I pre-ordered it. And um, oh, my ear just cleared. Oh, it, it was all like clogged because of altitude. Oh, I'm just so happy. Can you tell how happy I am? I'm probably not stopping to smile, not to stop, not stop. I can't talk, but my ear feels better. I've been smiling this whole video, I know. I'm just so happy, guys. Um, and now I'm even happier because I can hear. Man, good day. Anyway, so, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I just reread them, and yeah, last year it worked perfectly because I had like 50 pages left, and then I got my book, the next one, and I was just like, oh, it worked perfect. But then this year, I'm going to be like dying reading Eclipse of New Moon because like, uh, <laughs> you know, and I'm going to have it, and it's going to be like right in my face, so I'm going to be like, oh, I could read Breaking Dawn right now, but I, I can't because I need to read the others. Uh. <laughs> So, yeah. Okay, um, now I'm going to talk to you about a book that I finished on the road trip. It's called Story of a Girl. It was written by Sarah Czar, and um, on the front it has, you know, um, a thing, what's it called? I don't know, but it says, realistic fiction at its best, an emotionally charged story. And then I'll read you the back. <clears throat> when I was 13, my dad caught me with Tommy Weber, Weber in the back of Tommy's Buick, parked next to the old chart house down by the monetary at 11 o'clock on a Tuesday night. Tommy was 17 and this is in a supposed friend of my brother Darren. I didn't love him. Not, I'm not even sure if I liked him. In a moment, Deanna Lambert's teenage life has changed forever, struggling to overcome the lasting r r repercussions Sorry, um, and the stifling role of school slut. Deanna longs to escape the life defined by her past with stilts subtile grace, com complicated wisdom, and striking emotion. The story of a girl reminds us of our human capacity for resilience and redemption. Empathy and redemption. Um, so that's the back of the book and it, you know, it, you know, it's kind of self-explanatory and I really like the book. I recommend you read it. Um, it was a good read. Um, the one thing that kind of bugged me though was like, I hate root beer. Like, so much like that's just one of those things I can't drink I mean, it's just so gross and then but like the author was like obsessed with it the girl like in every single chapter it was like she drank her ice cold root beer mm, and it slid down her throat and just you know how it tasted and I was like oh sick no I'm not liking this and then um and then in the morning she drank root beer and all that and it was just like it wasn't good but if you like root beer, read the book. It just wasn't my thing. But it was a good book, I promise. I'm running out of time and I have a little bit more to talk about. So if you have any questions, ask me about the book and I will tell you more. But it was good. I recommend you read it. It had a really good ending and everything. So, um, But I have to go soon. I'm going to that Breaking Dawn release party. I'm so excited. I'm going with Lauren and... Um, it's just going to be great. So I hope all of you guys are gearing up to read Breaking Dawn. Um, I recommend you read the other books before if you didn't really have the idea. I mean, I know it, it comes out really soon, but, you know, it just works out really good for me that way, and I like it. So I hope you're all having a good wrap-up of, of summer, and don't waste much time because school is starting soon, guys. And just, you know, have as much fun as you can while you're waiting. So, um, uh, okay. <laughs> 